Have you tried upgrading your older PC to Windows 11 and get hit with the dreaded, this PC can't run Windows 11? Does your PC have no TPM? Does your PC have an older CPU? Well, no worries. In this video, I'll show you yet another great method to bypass the hardware requirements and install Windows 11 without any third-party tools. I've had a lot of people mention this method in previous videos, and it might just be the easiest install to date. So let's get to it. Okay, before we start, I do want to mention that running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware may potentially mean no future security updates to your OS should Microsoft truly put their foot down on the use of older hardware with newer operating systems. Also, be sure to back up your important data before attempting any upgrade. Now let's hop right in. First up, we'll want to go grab the Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. I'll toss a download link in the video description for you. Once we're at the Windows 11 download site, scroll down to find Download Windows 11 Disk Image section and select Windows 11 Multi-Edition and click Download Now. Next, select your product language and region. I'm in the US, so I'll select English United States and click Confirm, but you can select your desired region. After confirming, let's go ahead and click the 64-bit download button and get this party started. Next up, we want to locate the Windows 11 ISO file we downloaded. It's probably in your downloads folder like mine is. After we found our ISO file, right click on the file and select Mount. Click Open to mount the ISO file. Now listen up. This is an important step. Be sure to note what drive letter your ISO file has been given. My drive letter here is E, but yours could be D, E, F, or something different. So remember what your drive letter is. You can close out this Explorer box, and now we'll want to access the command prompt. Be sure you run it with admin privileges. To do this, in your search box, type CMD. Now on the right side, click Run as Administrator. If you get a UAC pop-up prompt, just click Yes to continue opening the command prompt. Now that our command prompt is up, let's type the following command. And this is where your mounted drive letter comes into play. Go back and check your drive letter if you forgot. Again, my drive letter was E, so I'll type E colon and hit enter. Next, we're going to modify the Windows 11 installer just a bit. This will allow us to bypass some of the Windows 11 hardware requirements. It's a very easy command, so let's get to it. In the command prompt, type setup.exe space forward slash product space server space forward slash compat space ignore warning space forward slash migrate drivers space, all, and hit enter. When the installation begins, you may notice that the setup states install Windows Server. Don't freak out. It's not installing Windows Server. It's just part of the process that gets around the hardware requirements for install. It will install like for like, meaning if you have Windows 10 Home, it will install Windows 11 Home. To get this party started, let's click Next. Now let's agree to the terms and conditions by clicking Accept. Click Next. Looks like we're ready for the upgrade, so let's click Install. I've sped up this install for the video, but it only took maybe half an hour for this test PC. And there we go, another great way to upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. You see here, we have version 24H2 installed. I hope this video has helped you upgrade your older PC with unsupported hardware to Windows 11. If so, let us know in the comments. And we'd love for you to smash that like button and subscribe for more Windows tips and tricks. It really is the best way you can support these videos. Otherwise, We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, everybody.